Hey everybody, how are you today? I um, want to just do a quick studio short video about the barn piece I just recently finished. Um, you'll see the video on my YouTube channel where I kind of go through the process, but I wanted to show the evolution of my paintings from the early times when I first started this process of transferring ink. And I did these little video or uh, these these little videos these little barn pieces it's actually just some barn wood that i cut into shapes of barns as you can see here and if you look closely you can see some imagery there's somebody with a straw or cowboy hat on i can't remember what that is up top oh it's a tractor tractor in a field some of these, the, my images didn't transfer very well back in the day, as you can tell. I didn't didn't go through the trouble of smoothing the wax as much. Uh, the wax was super thin. I don't even know that I was using regular beeswax. It may have been encaustic medium or something else. Um, who knows? I should have documented all that back then, but I didn't. So this one has a row of corn you're looking down the row each side of that brown spot is corn falling in and I think this over here is just some flowers or something very obscure almost abstract I think I only know that because I'm the one that created it and then after doing that piece I did this like a year or two later and it was a terrible try at transferring on directly on barn wood with a little bit different concept putting the image within I think I took a Dremel tool and I cut that shape out and then sanded the inside of the that barn shape put the beeswax on and then did the transfer so the transfer worked the idea was kind of neat the application of the transfer wasn't probably the best <laughs> So this has been in my garage since 2009, which was around the same time I did these pieces. Um, and you can see that uh, not so great. And that's why it's been in my garage. But it's really cool to see that this piece survived being in a lumber stack in my garage. The There's some dents and dings where it was kind of damaged from being out there. But overall, it held together, and I can't believe it because my garage is not climate controlled and it gets hot in Tennessee but anyhow so you compare all that to this and this is not going to come through very well this piece of wood was really dark so when I even after I sanded it the wood underneath was pretty dark it's oak um, and when you put beeswax on oak it's still going to darken up a little bit but yeah huge difference in the two the, the application is a little bit better than it used to be but that's what you want as an artist you want to see growth right and I just figured I'd get on here and share a little bit about that some of the history of how my transfer process started this was from when I was at MTSU and I was first learning about encaustic uh, art and the different applications that you could do with encaustic art and that's I learned to do a transfer and I was more about transferring an exact image and then it evolved into what it is today where I build up an image by collaging these pieces together before I remove the paper so I make collage and then I destroy it and leave the ink on beeswax how about that all right that's all for today thanks for watching Make sure you uh, like and subscribe and all that stuff so I can grow this channel and I'll be back in a few days with some more videos.